Hi, and welcome back to another week of distance learning. The next few weeks are going to be very interesting as we all learn how to best work in our new environments. I know we've been doing this for over a week now, but here are some tips for you as we continue to learn how to best succeed in this new situation. As we go into the remainder of the school year, it's extremely important to have patience as this is a new way of learning and teaching for all of us. So please pay special attention to your teachers as they guide you and lead you through this process during this time. To start, even though we're not in a special building, it's good to have a special place to work. If at all possible, find a place in your home that you can designate as your working space. Make sure this is a place where you do your schoolwork and little else. Try to create a place that has a few distractions. This could be a desk, a kitchen table, or a TV tray, and a chair in a corner. Don't do schoolwork in the same place as you play video games. So a really good way to keep your brain in school mode is to set a regular routine, just as if you were getting up to go to school. You know, shower, eat breakfast, get dressed, and the only difference would be is that you're staying at home to do school instead of actually going to school. So I know it's helped me and I had to get into that regular routine so that I could stay productive. Once you're at your special place in your house, remove all and any distractions and you're ready to begin working. You may have a Google Meet with your teacher or your class. So here are a few pointers to help you with your video calling etiquette. Your teacher will have important information to share with you during your conversations, so make sure you show up to your meets and calls on time. Start logging into the meet 10 minutes before it's scheduled to make sure you don't have any technical difficulties. It's important to remember that just like you can see everybody, they can also see you. So make sure what is on your screen is not a distraction to the rest of the class. Just like that. Remember, you're technically at school language and behavior should be school appropriate be kind and polite wait your turn don't interrupt when someone else is talking remember the chat room is a great feature uh, but it needs to be appropriate and on topic isn't that right anson mm -hmm. use it for what it's intended unless it's your turn to talk keep yourself muted and the way you do this is you go to the microphone icon at the bottom and click mute. And then when it's your turn to talk, you simply unmute yourself, say what you want, and then go back and click the microphone to mute yourself again. And don't forget, when you're not in Google Meet, you still have stuff to do. You have other assignments you need to complete for the day and the week. So if you have a question and you don't know how to do something, reach out. We may not be in the same room with you at that same moment, but we're just a click away. So don't hesitate or feel bad about asking for help. And finally, cut yourself a break. Be patient with yourself. We're all in this together. We're new at it. You're new at it. And don't get nervous. Just try it. Mess up. Come back. Communicate to the teacher. And we're going to figure it out. So, if it doesn't work the first time, have a little grit, have a little perseverance, push through and contact us, okay? Have a good day.